So here we'll be talking about how to export a panoramic image from within uh, Faro Scene 5.0. It's the same for any of the versions that I've worked with, so uh, it really shouldn't matter. Basically, this is our scan project, and so uh, we highlight a scan, and we go to Import Export, and we choose Export Image. Okay, and well, you can rename it here if you want. Uh, sometimes that helps if you're going to upload it to a web folder and you want it to have a certain name so you know possibly people understand it better. Uh, we'll just leave it as, as is, CSX005, and we'll save the image. Now, first thing it has to do is it has to load the file into memory and then it saves that it's it's actually very very fast so now if we go down here we can see inside of this folder here is our panoramic image that we've created I mean, it really is this easy now the next part is transferring it to a web folder so to transfer it to a web folder uh, you can use a free program called FileZilla that works very very well and very easily so all that you need to have is access to your website and uh, and permissions obviously so you may need an IT person to help you with this but it really isn't very difficult so we're going to connect to the site what's important over here these are all the files and folders you really don't want to get into uh, but if you go to www these are where you can create some uh, additional files or additional folders and so what we've done is uh, we created a folder called tutorial so you see that there's that there is uh, nothing in here and if we'll look here this is the file that we just created which is this CSX05 so it's as easy as dragging the file over here you'll see that there'll be a progress indicator and depending upon your connection speed and if you're uh, doing anything else I happen to be syncing some fairly large files with Dropbox right now so uh, normally these the files because they're not very large just drop right in and so now you see that the file has transferred uh, so now if you want to go back and just double check so you can open up a browser window, it can be Safari, it can be Explorer, it can be Google Chrome, whichever you want to use. And just type in the URL. So this this is that page, and we're right back, we're right to that uh, that directory. And this is the same view that you can see inside of iViewer 360. And then you can just view that. It's loading up here. And as soon as the entire thing is finished loaded, you'll see. So here's the panoramic image. Uh, it really is quite simple to do. Now, uh, say you, sometimes the image size can be a problem. You can resize them quite easily in, uh, in Photoshop. So as an example, uh, say say that it wasn't uh, say the image was the wrong size and it wasn't working correctly. So you can drag this into Photoshop or GIMP or any of the other uh, editing programs, and you can uh, resize it pretty quickly. Now I, the the size that iViewer 360 likes the best is 8192 by 4096 and um, so but sometimes that doesn't always present itself well as far as being you know some of the the ferrocene exports so what we'll do is we'll change the output size we're just going to change the width to 8192 and not really worry about the height okay so now it's it's changed its size. I mean, it's really that easy. Now we're just going to save as, and we'll just call it the B version. 
for now. But this is uh, this is kind of important as far as saving the file size. The smaller the file size, the faster it's going to load over your uh, Wi-Fi or 3G connection. Wi-Fi usually isn't a problem, but sometimes if you're remote and you're using a 3G, it can be uh, arduous to wait for a large image to load, and you may even experience timeouts. So if you had an example uh, and you wanted to show a client after you had done a, a laser scan, uh, you can reduce this file size the quality and it's really almost negligible to, to be able to perceive much of a difference. You may see some uh, graininess in the image. And so now we can go back to FileZilla and I think we actually have to uh, I think we have to refresh this folder to see the second version. So now we see that this file is smaller. This is about you know three and a half uh, megabytes and now it's you know roughly two and a half megabytes and so now we can transfer this file and this one would uh, would load faster And now if we go back and check it in a browser again, you see that now there are two images there. And if we select the second one, it should load faster. And there really won't be much of a much difference as far as quality. And so if we want to navigate to the web folder to, to check the files that we have uploaded, so we go to the address bar www.iviewer com slash tutorial return. Now you see that we have here are the files that we just transferred to it. So if we select the B file and there we have it. This is the file that we just transferred. This is the one that we resized and we actually reduce the file size and resolution slightly and as you can see it still looks quite good. You will see a little more pixelization but it's really not very much. Thank you.